Hello, I'm Bob Metcalf, inventor of Ethernet, professor of innovation at the University of Texas, and for the last 10 years, advisory director of the MEF. Two and a half years ago, it was my pleasure to introduce a new generation of Ethernet, Carrier Ethernet 2.0, or CE 2.0. At the time, we discussed how CE 2.0 would deliver significant value and cause a tipping point in the industry. It did just that. According to Vertical Systems, Ethernet business services now account for the majority of the world's business bandwidth and is headed for 75% in the next three years. According to Infinetics, carrier Ethernet revenue in services and equipment will reach $350 billion cumulatively over the next four years. Those are big numbers and CE 2.0 is a global success story. At the time of the launch, we also discussed how CE 2.0 was a framework for the future of simpler, automated services, but we said that discussion of that future was for another day. Well, that day has now arrived. Today we are embarking on the next stage of this remarkable journey with a new vision of the future of network services, building on CE 2.0 capabilities. MEF is announcing a new network paradigm, a new third network. A vision for agile, assured, and orchestrated services worldwide based on emerging network as a service principles. To find out more about how the world will change again, who better to continue that story than Nan Chen, founder and president of the MEF, who has been instrumental in the success of CE 2.0 and the new vision for the future. Nan? Thanks, Bob. Our new vision for the future of network services is built upon tremendous market success and energy and momentum of CE 2.0. 70 companies are offering 300 CE 2.0 certified services and products. This number continues to grow. 2,500 MEF certified professionals are now in 65 countries, a tenfold increase since the launch. We have started two new initiatives within the framework of MEF. The new Service Operations Committee is standardized lifecycle and processes of Ethernet services. The Cloud Ethernet Forum is a standardized cloud service types and cloud service interconnectivities. Now the MEF continue to grow strong with over 220 member companies representing over $2 trillion of combined market capitalization. The startling impact and success of C2.0 created new questions and challenges. Today, there are two types of modern data networks, C2.0 networks, that delivers assured service in performance and security. These services, however, can take days to initiate, especially when multiple providers are required. The second type of network is the internet or IP networks that delivers on-demand and ubiquitous services, but with no performance guarantees leaving users themselves to deal with security concerns. Is there a need for the new service to be agile, like the internet, assured in performance and security, like the CE 2.0 networks, and end-to-end -end service orchestrated seamlessly? We believe there is. Today, we're announcing our vision for a new third network based upon network as service or NAS principles that will deliver agile, assured, and orchestrated services worldwide. Agile means delivery of real-time on-demand services. Assured means delivery of performance and security guarantees. Orchestrated means automated delivery of services across multiple service providers. How will this impact end users and service providers? Who better to answer that then MEF Chairman of the Board, Andrew McFazen, Head of Global Marketing of Orange Business Services, one of the world premier service providers. Andrew? Thanks, Nan. I believe that for enterprises of all sizes, the need to provide faster, more reliable, and high quality connectivity for their employees to access the business applications that they use is vital, whether they're in the office, at home, or on the road. This new initiative we're launching at the MEF will accelerate these end-user benefits and, at the same time, bring new revenue opportunities for service providers and vendors, many of whom are already MEF members. 
Let's start by looking at the impact on everyone who ever went on a business trip or who works from home. We've all experienced the frustrations of poor quality, drop connections, etc. when we use the internet. Imagine, however, that just by connecting to your service, your required performance profile is loaded onto your device, whether it's a laptop, a tablet or a smartphone. A high performance network connection is automatically set up and you're ready for business. This could be always on or on demand. It will provide performance assured network experiences to the millions of road warriors and remote workers and possibly for significant innovation and revenue generation for the industry. A truly exciting prospect for all stakeholders. A second example is that of the enterprise virtual private network. We're already seeing service providers like Orange bringing hybrid network solutions to the market which leverage both private MPLS carrier Ethernet and Internet connectivity in the same network solution. However, in a demanding and fast-changing world, we need to be quicker and more agile. The MEF's vision of highly automated, orchestrated, interconnected operator networks will bring us a major step forward and closer to near real-time end-to-end connectivity on demand that can be activated and deactivated by the end user. This is the power of standardized service orchestration that creates a pervasive virtual network as a platform for on-demand business services. Thirdly, in the new vision, we focus on the massive growth in demand for cloud services. Cloud service delivery will be seamless with service on demand and as you go that interconnects user locations to virtual machines or virtual network functions running on blade servers in remote data centers. Automated intercarrier service orchestration manages connectivity both inside and outside the data center. To understand how the third network, Network as a Service, will come into being, I'm now going to hand you back to Nan. Thanks, Andrew. Now you see how powerful this new third network could be. Naturally, the next question is how to make it reality. In order to answer that question, Let's ask ourselves, why is it so hard today to deliver agile, assured services orchestrated within a single or across multiple service providers? The answer is actually quite simple. Lack of layered abstraction in telecom operations. In the computing world, hardware layers is separate from operating system layers, which in turn is separated from application layers. Each layer can innovate without impacting the layer above or below. However, today, telecom operating systems are in functional silos, such as separate inventory, provisioning, performance, and fault management systems. Each functional system must hold detailed information of all domains or layers, like optical, Ethernet, and IP. Change in any domain results in changing all systems, which takes extraordinary amount of time and money. So what is our strategy to implement this new vision? Using Network as a Service, or NAS principle, the solution is to develop a layered approach to break down complex problems domain by domain or layer by layer and standardize them. The industry is now working together in three major initiatives, NFE, SDN, and service orchestration to develop more responsive, adaptive solutions. NFE is to use general purpose VMs instead of vendor-specific network elements for every network functions, while SDN is to move control functions in network elements into central controllers. Both NFE and SDN while providing functional building blocks for the new third network are concerned with network element functions and controls, but not the connectivity services business or individuals actually purchase. This is where standardized service orchestration and MEF come in. Service orchestration manages the entire life cycle of connectivity services, fulfillment, control, performance, assurance, usage, and analytics. 
It holds detailed service inventory of all services in a layer domain, and it provides necessary APIs for information exchange between service providers or internal systems operating at different layers. Service orchestration is what MEF is defining. Initial work already underway includes, one, the definition of service orchestration lifecycle elements, two, extending our information models to be dynamic, protocol independent, and three, developing open standard-based APIs where needed. All new capabilities leverage and build upon CE 2.0 as a services platform, therefore delivering an excellent migration strategy. The new third network can only come to being by working closely with many industry leaders. An expanded collaboration program involving key industry standard bodies has been established. We call this UNITE. This program is critical to the acceleration of deployment and realization of enormous benefit for all stakeholders. The new third network, much like the CE 2.0 and the Internet has done, will profoundly change the way we work, live, and play. Once again, we stand at a new beginning for the world of networking. The new third network orchestrates dynamic performance assured services and brings explosive growth in the market for all stakeholders. Wouldn't it be great if network as a service were personalized, virtualized and mobilized with an SLA that meets your needs? That's the promise of the new third network. We strongly encourage everyone to join MEF as we bring this vision into reality. Until we meet again.